All right, guys. So we're going to talk about if A, this is week 27, block day two, the last three questions. If A is greater than B, identify the constraints to make each statement true. So we have A's, B's, and C's. Well, first off, like any value that we have for A and B, like we have to make sure the first, first part is correct. So we could put 10 is less than 20. Now, as long as we make sure the numbers we put in for A, A and B are A is less than B, then everything else should work out for us. So for A, um, if we plugged in, they want to know 10 plus what is less than B plus what? So we understand that's going to be, oh, I'm sorry, that's 20. We are in, Instead of B, we're putting 20 so that we have a better understanding of this. So 20. Okay, well, C. Let's plug in a number. We have positives, we have zero, and we have negatives. So we're going to try positives. Let's plug in like one. Is 10 plus 1, 11, bigger than 20 plus 1, 21? Yeah, that's right. Let's plug in another one. Let's say, let's plug in 10. 10. Is 10 plus 10 bigger than 20 plus 10? 20 is less than, I'm sorry, smaller than. 20 is smaller than 30. Yeah. So positive works out. So positives work. Yeah. Now let's try zero. Is 10 plus zero smaller than 20 plus zero? Yes. So this one works out. Now this last one, if I plugged in negative 10, so if I do 10 plus negative 10 is zero, I want to know 20 plus negative 10 is 10. Well, that's true. Let's try negative 20 then. 10 plus negative 20 for C. 10 plus negative 20 is negative 10 is less than negative 20. 20 plus negative 20 is zero. That's still true. So in these cases, as long as we make sure all any value for A and B that it proves the first statement is true, then we can state that all values, all real numbers, will work for A, B, and C. So any number will work for A, B, and C. Now for this one, we have to make sure that, give me one second. So for this one, it's saying, hey, what if we multiply this time and we change the direction of the inequality? Well. We're going to say C times, let's use 10 and 20 again. C times 10 is going to be bigger than C times 20. Well, let's pick some positive numbers, see if it works, times 5. That would be 50 is bigger than 100. That doesn't work. Let's try 10. 100 is bigger than 200. Well, that doesn't work, so this is going to be no. So let's try 0. Is 0 times 10, 0, bigger than, that's, this is C. This is the bigger than right here. Is that zero bigger than zero? Well, that's not going to work. Let's try negative numbers. Let's try negative one. So negatives. So negative one times 10 is negative 10. Is negative 10 bigger than negative 20? Yeah. Let's try negative five. Is negative 50 bigger than negative 100? Well, yeah, that is too. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in our statement. All right, so zero didn't work. So I could say only negative values for C will make this true. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, X has to be less than zero. Or zero, wait, 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 five. Not X, I always think, I always think X. It's C, because we were doing, we were, manipulating C. All right, let's look at the next one. Now, this one has no C, so we're going to just, you know, we're just going to have um, our values for, like, A and B. So we're going to plug in positives, negatives, and zeros. So, hmm, well, we can, over here, we can change this up a little bit. Well, let's plug in, so 10. Will negative 10 be smaller than negative 20. Okay, that doesn't work. Well, what if what if it's zero? Let's say a is zero. So zero, and then let's keep that as 20. Will zero be less than, plug in 20 right here, negative 20. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's pretend that b is zero now, and let's make this negative 10. 
So negative negative 10 is 10 less than negative zero is zero. Well, that doesn't work. So we tried different variations of one being positive. Well, what if they're negative? Let's try this. We didn't try negatives, so let's try negatives. Let's try ne A being negative 10 and B doing negative five. Okay, so if we make that positive because it's negative, they want us to times negative one, 10 is less than five. Well, that don't work. So in this, in this statement, there are, where you at, where you at, where you at? There are no numbers that will make this statement true. So running through this, this is, this idea what this is asking you is, hey, do you understand what makes this true? These statements true. Will this be, like if you do work, will this make this statement true? So for example, if you add the same thing on both sides and the left side was less than before, then it should still be less than. If you subtract by the same number on both sides, the left side should still be less than. Now for, for B, if you multiply both numbers and they're positive, then it should still be more than. The left side should still be more than. However, and if you did zero, well, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. We're looking at A and B right here. So A and B, sorry. So if you multiply by 10, it should still be less than. But on here, they're saying that we want it more than. What makes the left side switches it up and makes it more than? Well, okay only way you can make this switch the inequality to make the left side more than instead of less than is to multiply by a negative number which we figured out if you multiply by a negative number inequality will flip and that's the only way now that when we try to be like okay what if we times both sides by negative numbers will it stay and you know there's nothing that will make this make times the negative one on both sides, true. Because remember, if you multiply by a negative number in an inequality, it will flip the reciprocal. Not reciprocal, it will flip the inequality side. All right, I'm going to leave those mistakes as posterity to show you, hey, it's okay to make a mistake as long as we talk about it. All right, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.